yo yo guys what is up it's flip here and today i am bringing you a brand new story video this is the story of the first run-in i ever had with the police and like always i do not condone any behavior that's talked about in my videos this is just purely for entertainment purposes and this happened when i was a lot younger now this is actually my second time telling this story. I meant to do it as like a live commentary story video and I actually got through recording the whole thing to find out that my Elgato software messed up and it didn't really record most of the gameplay. So the live commentary kind of got thrown out the window. So this is just going to be a regular old commentary, but I actually hit two clips while I was live recording. I hit a shot on standoff and then I hit marker on Nuketown. So I'm going to show you guys that and then we're going to hop right into the video. What? I was not expecting to hit that. And look at this lead. Let's go, boys. So I'm glad that he was being sarcastic because it actually made it turn out like a. Oh! Wow. So like I've said about all of my stories, I used to do a lot of ignorant hood rat shit. And like I said, I don't condone anything that is in my in my videos. Like, it's, it is never a good idea to do anything I do. I just share these stories for entertainment purposes. Like I said, do not do any of the shit. Okay, we're stupid. We were really dumb. So like I say all the time, me and my friends were skateboarders. We used to skate all the time, every single day. And we had a lot of fun doing it. But one main thing that we used to always run into is people telling us we couldn't skate places. So we'd always have to go to like parks and stuff like that. Like not even skate parks, actual parks and try to skate the flat ground. But there was always so many kids and so much stuff going on that it never really worked out for us. One time we found this park and it was actually really nice. Nice flat smooth pavement, had tennis courts. But there was something special about this park. It was a couple playgrounds, some basketball courts, all that, and then it had like a little super, super smooth path that led back into this parking lot. And at the back side of this parking lot, there was an abandoned building. It was in a fenced-in area. It was an abandoned building. It was like a pool office sort of thing. There was a kiddie pool, and then there was a bowl, a pool that went from 6 foot all the way down to 13 foot, and it was an actual... And it went from six foot down to 13 foot. Like it was an actual pool, an actual bowl. And it was, it looked so cool. Like we wanted to go in there from the first time we saw it, but the fence was actually locked. So obviously we hopped the fence and went in there and it was actually super, super cool in there. Like the pool was actually like had a little bit of water in the bottom, like only like a foot worth of water or something like that. And the kiddie pool was 100% dry. And what we did is we went down into the pool because only the 13 foot actually had water into the actual pool. And we went in there and we were skating. We were having so much fun. We were hanging out. And we decided that that was going to be like our new spot. Like that was that was like our, our clubhouse sort of thing. And this, like I said, 7th, 8th grade. We made that our territory. So we went back there like every day for like weeks. Like this was like our hangout spot. It was super, super cool, and it was, like, top secret. Like, nobody's gonna go in there but us, obviously. But eventually, we sort of get tired of hopping that fence. It's, it's like, a six-foot tall fence, so, like, you're not supposed to be able to hop it. But, obviously, we are pretty proficient in hopping fences. We, we are, we're pretty skilled in the art of fence hopping, so we were making it over it no problem. But it was starting to get annoying, because we went there every single day. It got irritating hopping a fence every single day, and it was every time we wanted to leave the... The little uh, pool area we had to hop the fence too so even if we were just leaving for some water from the park so we had the bright idea to cut into the fence we took wire cutters and cut a circle like a, a half circle in the fence so we could peel it back and we could walk in whenever we want without like actually cutting the fence down because we were technically trying to be respectful I guess or something but anyway we get that hole cut in there and we bring the tools back to my friend's house this is like I said like two or three weeks after we found this hideout and it's like our place right like I said, this had an abandoned building on it too, but this building was 100% boarded up, so we only got to play and hang out in the pools. Eventually, our curiosity sort of like took over, and we couldn't handle it anymore. We needed to get inside this pool building. Like We were so curious on the stuff that was in there, so we just had to get in. This pool building had one door. It was a giant metal door that was probably about the size of two doors, and it had one handle and a deadbolt on it. And the handle was unlocked, but the deadbolt wasn't. So, obviously, we had to get in through the deadbolt. 
we found what I think was like a flag stand or a flag pole or something, and we used that as a battering ram on this giant metal door. So obviously we are dumb, like I've said six times now. Made a lot of noise, but we actually started like denting the door. Um, it kind of made started making like this B shape, and you could see like the little deadbolt thing. And we couldn't actually get it to push anymore, so we went and got tools and we like pried the deadbolt out, and the door was open. We swung it open, and it was like basically just a storage closet for the pool. There was pool chairs and like computer monitor type things like big box ones and papers and all this stuff that was like obviously years and years old because nobody had been in there in a long time and it was a boarded up old pool house but it was so cool to be in there those chairs and we actually set it up sort of like a little clubhouse like we moved stuff to the side and we we used it like a fort basically but all the stuff that we didn't use went into the pool and all over the area. We shouldn't have even gone in there, let alone throw the stuff all over the place once we were. But, like I said, having fun. That's our, our, our little clubhouse. And we had that to ourselves for, like, a day. Now, this is, like, four, three, four weeks into us having this little hideout. We're back there, we're skating, we're having fun in the pool, throwing water balloons. Like, I forgot what, we, what exactly we were doing, but we were having a lot of fun with stuff that we brought. And all of a sudden we hear, what the fuck are you guys doing in there? And we all of a sudden see this guy in his backyard. And it's like, it's like I said, it's on the back part of the playground or like the part. So it's like, it's sort of close to people's yards. And we see, we hear this guy and we look over and see him in his backyard. He's on his telephone and he's asking us, like screaming at us, like, what are you doing? And he keeps saying it. And eventually we're like, we're just skateboarding and we're having fun. He's like, you guys are not supposed to be in there. And we kind of just blow the guy off. Like, who are you? Like, I don't, we don't really care what you're saying sort of thing. And we ended up leaving, all right? The next day we come back because like I said, this is our spot. We go here every day. We come back, we're having fun, we're having fun, playing around, doing whatever we're doing, being stupid. And we hear a car pull out front. And we're like, oh, okay, one of our parents is here. Because they know where we're at. It's not a secret that we're in this, at this park. So we go out front. We're expecting to see somebody's parents. And we actually see a Kentwood sheriff out in the front. There was a sheriff out there right in front of the pool building. And he says the same exact thing that guy says. He says, what the fuck are you guys doing in here? And he's like, why are you guys in here? He keeps repeating himself. And we're not answering him. We're terrified right now. We're debating, like, running and sprinting. The kid, he's, or the cop is, like, maybe 20, 30 yards ahead of us. We're out the front of this gate we just walked out of our little hole and we're like i know i was at least thinking about running away from this guy like i don't i don't know i just didn't know exactly what to do and it was freaking me out right so he asked us to come over to him and he starts walking towards us like slowly but like not like trying to scare us but just like chill and i think that right there sort of calmed me down when he wasn't like chasing after us or being like a giant dickhead because I feel like if he would have been, like, sort of, like, aggressive, I probably might have ran, actually. So, like I said, this guy's walking towards us. He has us come towards him a little bit more. And he starts asking us, like, sort of what we're doing. And we start telling him we're skating. We're just hanging out. This is, like, our clubhouse sort of thing. And he starts asking us questions about, like, what's around. Like, did you guys put this hole in the fence? And we're like, no, 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 no. It wasn't us. Did you guys open this building? And we're like, uh, no, no, no. It was like that when we got here. You guys throw these papers everywhere and do all this and we're like, yeah, that was us. We were just having fun hanging out. And he's like, all right, thank you guys for being honest with me. I'm so genuine and I'm not sure if he actually believed us or if he was just being a good guy. So he he's like asking us all these questions. We answer his questions and he goes, what are your guys' names? And it starts, he starts on his far left and I was on his far right. So... He goes around the list, goes along the list, my friends are telling him their names, there's like five of us here, okay? So the first three get done, the dude right in front of me says his name is Quincy. His name was not Quincy, he gave him a 100% fake name, and I, my dumbass, I sort of like snickered, like, I, I couldn't hold it in, like, I was like, oh, you're not Quincy, you fucking liar, like, what are you doing? I didn't say it out loud, but like, I kind of laughed, and he was like, something funny? And I, like, that scared the shit out of me. I was like, nope, nothing's funny, nothing's funny. And he's like, what's your name? I'm like, uh, and I debated saying a fake name too, which I'm glad I didn't because I already started the syllable of Z and I would have been so stupid to do that. So we got our full names. 
he started being really chill towards us and he's like you know what guys i just don't think you should come to this park anymore like you guys should just stay away from this park for a little bit and he's telling us this as he's zip tying up our little hole that we cut in the fence and he's being super chill about it and he's just like yeah you guys should stay away from this park for a while or maybe you just shouldn't come back and he's like telling us all this stuff and we're sort of like easy about it now like we're, we're making jokes we're having fun with the dude and i'm glad that the first experience i ever had was with that guy because i feel like if it was anybody else we might have gotten to some serious trouble we'll get into my bad behaviors progressively as we get into these story storytelling videos hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like comment subscribe i'm really enjoying telling these stories for you guys and if you like them definitely leave a like and tell me any other stories you guys want to hear down in the comment section but that's gonna be the video leave a like comment subscribe tell me anything i can do to make my videos better for you guys but until next time it's flipping around thanks yo <coughs> <coughs>